all right guys Rokaga here and welcome back to the brand new video omg guys i've been playing whole night black lover mobile close beta uh the game is so good i'll tell you my first impressions right now unfortunately this is one of the videos that i will uh put on a youtube and i will leave it there so i won't be able to show you any screenshots nor the gameplay but i got extremely 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 lucky and i'm gonna explain everything you're gonna have to listen to me more on today's video than watch the gameplay unfortunately but yeah leave a like subscribe because we have another amazing amazing news this is from this is from the official discord server this is what they said uh, while we couldn't provide access to everyone at this stage, we look forward to returning to you with an open access for everyone. So guys, this is pretty much open beta confirmed. So we're having now closed beta. After the closed beta, we're gonna get open beta where everyone will be able to join and try out the game. And then after that, we're gonna have an official release. This is a beautiful strategy. This is how you do stuff because after close battle you fix most of the things that people were complaining about you do your best you try to fix all the bugs if they are there and then you put the open battle so you can see one more time is everything working properly and then after that you go with the official release this is beautiful and this is how you do it bro so yeah vsc game studios all the publisher even garena and all other stuff they're doing a wonderful job uh Okay, I will talk about about my first impressions about the Black Lover Mobile. What an amazing game. Uh, my first impression, I'll give you now rating immediately. I would give it easy, easy 9 out of 10. Maybe because rates and all of that, 8.5 out of 10. But the game is amazing. Everyone will, be, everyone will want to try it. From the graphics to the animations and everything else. It is already 1 million times better than the official release of Sword Art Online Varied Showdown and it's only the close beta. The game is running smooth without any problem and I love it, I love it. Okay, I'll, I'll just leave it, I'll just leave this on a loop. Uh, that's from the official source on their YouTube channel so I can use this gameplay only. So yeah, let me tell you now my first impressions like overall. First of all, I open up the game. First thing that you notice is the high quality of everything. From the menus, to the arts, to the home screens. Beautiful OSTs, like beautiful songs when you're waiting to download the data, you're not bored. Everything looks so good and while you're downloading the data in the beginning, you fight against the demon. And you get that first impression of high quality of the animation graphic. Um, attacks and everything else from the character designs to the enemy designs and overall everything working so so good okay furthermore when i read uh, when i downloaded all the data i entered the game and the first thing that you notice is that the game is so much better than i even thought it will be like everything runs so smoothly everything is quality life updates are amazing on the game so you have the one times, two times, three times when you finish first time, when you f finish some kind of quest, uh, like co you completed it. The next time you you can use the three star, uh, uh, three times uh, speed up. Okay, so in that way, when you need to grind the materials for enhancing the characters, gears, and all other stuff, um, then you use that three times speed and you put it on auto, and then you can also put how many times you want that this quest is grinded out so for example i need to grind enhancing material that is something that you're gonna grind a lot so you go into menu uh, you go into the the quests you select your team and then you can choose like how much time you want that event to be repeated so pretty much you can go to sleep and you can put like 50 times if you have enough stamina you wake up in the morning and you have so much enhancing materials and you were able to sleep so the quality life updates in that sense is got here the same like on grand cross for me this game will be even superior than grand cross i love everything okay okay that's the that, that's the second part the quality life updates now that the third part is summons i got extremely extremely lucky guys i pulled seasonal asta 
with 0.06% chance to pull him. That is insane. I pulled two times Yami, which is the most broken character in the game. I also pulled Fugilon. So, and really, really is the craziest PvP unit. Currently now we don't have real-time PvP, only bot PvP, AI PvP. I still enjoy it. I honestly, the game is so good that I still enjoy it, but I definitely believe in some time we're gonna get also the real-time pvp because this game needs that um needs that it would be the perfect final touch for the game real-time pvp in my eyes because then the game would be even more competitive okay so that's about that the rates are not good like you have 1.5 percent chance to pull ssr featured ssr in the banner and also seasonal characters are for 0.06% chance. Um, and yeah, I said it wrong. Like for one, a featured character is 0.75% 0, 0 chance to pull him. But if you have two SSR featured characters in the banner, then it's 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75. That equals 1.5%, okay? But yeah, the rates should be adjusted. Uh, the pity... Uh, also one thing which is not so good you have the cards the ability cards the skill cards for the characters in the same banner as the characters itself so many time i saw people pulling ssr but most of the time you get uh, you they got like ssr card so that could be problematic okay but still like i said i got so lucky that i didn't even felt bad, bad rates okay i didn't felt them but i understand that should be a little bit more increased but overall the game looks really free to play friendly you get so much things to grind from the dungeons from the standard missions side missions uh limited missions um so many things to do plus you get a lot of summoning materials by doing beginner missions okay i believe magna is the one that will lead you through that and then you have like beginner state medium state and advanced state and when you grind all of that missions, you can do so much to your characters to improve them. And you can improve so much in the game. Okay. That's about that. One more thing. Uh, the, the pity is 11 multis. So after 11 multis, you get a guaranteed SSR. But you do not choose SSR. You get a random SSR. So that's also that. Okay, next thing. Rarities. So every character can be uh, awakened from the R to the S to, to the SSR first. Like, okay, listen. Every character can get to the LR, okay? We have R, then you awaken to the SR, then you awaken to the SSR, then you awaken to the UR, and after UR, we have LR, okay? My first LR character most likely will be Asta or Yami. I will see where, where I will go with it. But currently now I have a full UR team. So every character has a viability in this game. That's why I said even when we didn't know about that, I predicted this. I didn't know it's gonna go to the LR, okay? That I didn't predict. But every character can go to the UR and then from the UR to the LR, which is incredible. I predicted to the UR, okay? So in that way, that increases value of every single unit. This is also really, really good thing. The only problem would be in this game, like summoning rates. And that's pretty much that. Loki, that's pretty much that. And that we have skill cards in the banner, same as SSR characters. Overall, I don't mind. I don't mind. I, w I got so lucky that I don't know what to say, bro. I just don't know what to say. Um, but yeah, rates should be adjusted. About the combat, uh, like every character has its own skills, plus you have um, a skill here on the top. Can you see my mouse? Can. Okay, here on the top, you can see right here. Um, let me show you. Every character has its own skill, like Yami, this is his AoE attack, and it literally shows AoE. Um, then this, this points out it will be single target. Also, really strong attack. This gives him critical rate up. I can't remember that this is his ultimate and this is this skill is for combination so you have a character which you are combined with you can choose whatever 
Uh, and then both of those characters will go into combined attacks. So, for example, I use Yami and Asta, which combining of the attacks, they both will do crazy AoE damage. That is something what I use. And that's in incredible. So, the combat, it makes sense. It has strategy in it. It literally has strategy in it. Okay, let me turn off this. And one one of you told me, I will, I don't know who... But someone said that the game is a little bit too much straightforward by the combat, not so much strategy, more like using the skills how you go. But I believe that's only in the beginning. Eventually, when we're gonna advance, when we're gonna have more characters, definitely there'll be a lot, a lot about the strategy. Maybe in the beginning it's straightforward, but in time, more you play, more complex it gets, okay? So that's about combat. The gameplay summons uh summoning animations they're solid nothing too crazy but then again clean I, I i i have nothing against that but i i oh sorry i expected more from the summoning animation but nothing spectacular honestly easy seven out of ten easy seven out of ten for the summoning animation for the gameplay easy nine and a half out of ten graphic animation and art 10 out of 10 for sure rates six out of ten um about the grinding, about the free-to-play aspect of how much material you can get, that's 8 out of 10, easy. So this is my overall opinion, my first impression about the close beta. We want also real-time PvP, although AI PvP is not bad at all. Um, you have a gear system, you have a skill system, skill tree system. So there are so many things you can do with your own character, plus you have the promotion, ranking up and leveling up. So there's so many things you can do with your own character also you have yeah you can enhance also the skill skill cards ability cards so all of those can be improved constantly and there is always so much things to do plus you have a, a, a gear that you can also enhance and add critical rate up attack up you can you can mess around with that plus there's so many different things to grind for those kind of materials but the game is clear uh, it's easy to play, it's understandable, so yeah, overall, I'm really enjoying it, I'm giving this rating of overall 9 out of 10, easy for me, I'm addicted already, I cannot stop, I'm crazy, I already uploaded one video that will be deleted soon, this one won't be deleted, because I didn't show anything crazy, but bro, I, I just wanna say thank you VSC Game Studios, thank you Pearl Abyss and everyone who worked on this project, this will be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, mobile game of 2023. Okay, guys, so open beta also confirmed. Cannot wait for that. For now, I'll just go and play and have fun. Maybe upload one, two more videos. That's it. That will be deleted again. I'm just too hyped. I cannot play Sword Art Online where it showed on while we have this close beta. I just can't, bro. This is too good. This is too good. Okay, Lavia, hopefully you did enjoy the video. Sorry I didn't show you nothing too crazy, but I can't because I won't delete this one. But yeah, that's that. Love ya. See you next one. Bye.